And once you put it back up there, the key is to make sure you get this threads on here right. If it starts going tight at first, maybe you're cross-threading it. You want to stop, make sure you can twist it around a few times with your hand. And I can. Okay. And now I'm going to tighten that up with the channel locks. I'm just going to tighten it a little bit. I'm not going to go very far. And I'm going to hope that it's not going to leak. Now see, you see a little bit of the white where the Teflon tape was? That's because I had kind of wide Teflon tape. They actually have three different sizes, three different widths of Teflon tape, believe it or not. I could have got some that was a little bit thinner than that. This is the standard uh, width, though. You can actually get wider stuff. When you're taking a shower and, and you're down here, are you going to notice that? Probably not. You know? I didn't want to raise that up higher and let it stick over the edge because I didn't want the nut to, to affect where the knuckle went in and have too much of the Teflon tape overlapping that. Now, some people might think, hey, you could have done that. That would have been fine. You know, then you wouldn't see any Teflon tape. You know what I mean? But I'm going to tighten this, cinch this down with the channel locks. Just a few quarter turns is all and turn it back on, see what happens. Make sure you put your rag back up there. You know, if you don't have a rag, could you, could you tighten this? Yeah, you probably could. You just want to be careful with it. You know, and I'm going to hang on to the head here because I don't want the head to spin. If the head starts spinning when I'm tightening this nut, that means I'm not tightening the nut, am I? Okay, I just, I don't want to get it too tight because I don't want that plastic nut to crack. And I could easily do it with this. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. And then now I'm gonna turn the shower head on and see what happens. If I get a little pin leak or something, I could, I could put this back up there and tighten it just a hair more. Worst thing you can do is tighten this so tight that it cracks, that it's, you, you know, I don't know what, what you're going to do to fix it then. You know what I mean? So easy as you go, turn the water on, check it out before you tighten it again. Because if it's not leaking right now, guess what? I don't have to tighten it anymore, do I? You probably want to see me turn the water on and all that too, don't you? Oh man. All right. I haven't tested it yet. Okay. Good. Looks like it wanted to leak there. Man. I'm wondering if that nut is has a slight little crack in it from before. You remember how tight it was putting on or taking off, remember? I see water up there. I think. I think if I just leave it in one place and tell people to leave it alone, it's probably going to be fine. You know, shower heads aren't really designed to start moving it all around everywhere and all that. Now see, I'm seeing, I'm seeing some drips in here and it's not coming from the back. It's, it's coming from the nut, the top edge of the nut. I think it's split just a little bit. Mm, what can I do with that? Anything? I don't think I want to tighten this up anymore. I think I'll dry that off. There's one thing I can do. See, this nut has a top portion of it too, and I think that's where it's split in between. I'll have to dry that look up there, but if your split's right there, you don't want to go any further. And I don't think I did that. I think it was already split, okay? But I can dry that, and I can put some super glue up there, let it dry. And that'll probably fix it, depending how big of a crack you have. That's what you can do with plastic nuts. Here's a tip for you. If you have a nut up here, and it's plastic like this one, and if you ever have a problem with it snapping apart, splitting, whatever, you can go down to the hardware store. This one is the exact size as a 
an adjustable P-trap nut at the hardware store. I checked that out before and you have to get the metal P-trap nuts, okay? Not the, not the ABS plastic ones or the white ones or anything. You can get a metal one, a silver one, and that could fit up there. And you can either leave it silver and then you can really crank down on it because it's metal, right? Or you could get a metal one and then you can, uh, you can buy some spray paint, anodized bronze spray paint, and spray your nut, okay? Let it dry, and then you can fix it that way too. That's about the only way to fix this. If you have a plastic nut and if the plastic nut breaks, don't think you're going to go down to the hardware store and get one of those or go to a shower store and special order that nut. You're probably going to have the same problem before, and, and chances are it's, it's, it's going to be difficult to almost impossible ordering just that nut, even if they do um, carry it, okay? But I'm going to try to fix it this other way. I'm just going to put a little bit of super glue up there. And I think that's going to work. Kaboom. This is what I use, super glue. And this has helped me out several times for different little projects. And the ridge on top of that plastic nut, I just put some around there. Okay? Put a nice little dose around there all the way around. Now the key is you got to let that dry before you test out this shower head. Okay? Chances are it's not going to leak. Now if it does squirt a little bit more, you could probably tighten the nut a little bit more. Not very much. You saw, you saw how I was tightening that. You don't want to tighten it much or else you're going to, you could possibly split that out again. Okay? And all else fails, get a metal nut at the store like I told you. Hey, sometimes you can do things without going and get parts at the store. Try it next time. That's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos.